So one of the things we talked about the last time is you really have to know what the notes are. You can't sing the songs unless you recognize the notes. After learning, looking at the syllable, there's three things you've got to look at, right? Remember, what are they? What are the three things you've got to look at, Nicholas? Syllables. The syllables, that's first of all, right? So you've got to be able to read in Slavonic or in English, then what? The, um, what do you think is next that you have to know? The notes. The notes, because you've got to know how high or low to sing, right? And then what? Um, what are the black marks? What do we call those? Nathaniel? Sign. What? The signs. The signs, which are going to tell you what? Do you know, Nathaniel? What are they going to tell you? Uh, Not sure? What are they going to tell you, Nicholas? How to sing. Well, okay, how to sing, but how to sing what? Do you know, Nina? How to sing... Yeah, but you'll give me a, you're like a generic how, how answer. How long to hold the note. How long to hold the note, and how many notes there are in a particular syllable, okay? Remember, again, I could be dealing with something like this. Remember, we put Lord on the board next week. I can be dealing with Lord and say I've got one note, and it's, it's Uth, so I'm going, Lord... I can be looking at Lord, and it's got soul on it, so I'm going, Lord. Then I can be dealing with the fact that I can be going, Lord, I have cried, Lord, I have cried. Or I can be going, Lord, I have. See how much longer I'm holding it? But then there's the possibility that I've got a note that has more than one note. Sign, I've got a sign that has more than one note. So listen to what I'm doing. Now instead of going, Lord, I'm going, Lord. I did how many notes on that? Two. Which direction did my, my voice go? Up or down? Lord. Okay. Now, or I could be going, Lord. What did Nathaniel, how many notes did I sing there? Two. Which direction did my voice go? Up or down? Okay. Or I could be going, Lord. Okay. Can you see the point? Okay. So you've got to be able to read, and that's one of the reasons we don't have people start to do this until they can read English well, and it's one of the reasons we bug you guys to keep on learning Slavonic, because when we still things, sing things in Slavonic, you can't do this unless you can read the Slavonic. But then you've got to know the notes. Nicholas, do you recognize what is this note? What? Okay, so we understand, and by the way, I'm going to pass something out to you. I, I brought something else here. I don't know where I put it. I brought something else that Nikita Simmons had done a number of years ago, and he explains the basic system. And even, remember I mentioned to you that these notes come from a Latin hymn? Yeah. And I, I have that written, and I'm going to give that to you. Is but John from John, That's right, John the Baptist, okay? Now if I were to take this and say, do you recognize what this note is? Okay? Nina, you haven't done this in a long time, but you did it once. Do you remember by any chance, Nina? Good. Lo, re. And, and of course, in English, we generally go do, re, mi, fa, sol, la. In Slavonic, it's usually ut, re, mi, fa, sol, li, la. But that's pretty close, okay? And you see it's the low one because it has a little X by it, right? Mm -hmm. And again, if you look up there on the board, you can see where the scale is, okay? Let's try another one or two, okay? And I'm just trying to jump around here. Now, here's a tough one. Anybody remember what this one is? Because this doesn't look like the rest. Yes, Nana, you know it? Lo mi, okay? Now, of course, the point I'm making here is the lo ut looks exactly like the ut. The lo re looks exactly like the re, except for the x bar. But the lo mi is a completely different letter, except that, in fact, that's the letter one in Slavonic. S, okay? So we have that one. And again, you're not going to know this unless you're able to do it. Do you know what this one is? By any chance, Nathaniel, do you know? Even if you can't, can you see it on the board? It will help you to know. What is it? High soul. Good. High soul. So what happens in the high notes, the high notes actually look exactly like the regular notes, they just have the dot above them. So basically, if you learn the regular scale, except for the low mi, you ought to know what to do with the other ones, okay? <coughs> all right, so that's it, and hopefully you all know these notes, because you've got to know the notes and you've got to recognize them when you see the songs. For example, the song we were just singing before, remember I mentioned there was one with the low ut, and then the next note was the mi? If you don't know those notes, you're going to have no idea what to do, and you're not going to expect that. Because I want you to understand that generally what happens in the song is generally the pattern is for the next note in the song to follow the last note. Remember the song we were just singing, the one I said to you, I don't remember what the name of it was. It actually went, So it's kind of unusual when you have something like the one song we saw, we had the very low ut, and then we had a jump to mi. So if we're singing as a choir, and you don't know and recognize that slow ut, and that slow me, and you're singing with us, you're likely to sing it completely wrong and make the choir sound very badly because you didn't make the jump up to the me, okay? Okay, so the signs. What I did was I put up on the signs, because we talked about this last week, all, I think, all of the one-tone signs. All of the one-tone signs, okay? We understand that means if I've got a syllable, 
if I've got a syllable, let's again just take Lord, for example. If I have Lord, and I see any one of these, any one of these sitting above there, for example, if I see this sitting above there, or if I have this sitting above there, they're all going to only have one note. I'm only going to sing one note on those, okay? And that's important, because then I'm going to know to go Lord somewhere in some pitch, and for some length, but I'm not going to go Lord, 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 okay? So we want to recognize these. Let's try to see if we can go back over these and remember what they are, okay? Let's first of all, see if you can find all the ones. Now these again are in that book that you have. And they're in the book that you have between pages 7 and... No, no, no. And 12. They're between 7 and 12. So I'm taking all the, all the signs between 7 and 12. Let's try to find the ones we can. And even, first, see what you can remember. Which ones are half notes? Or which ones do we sing for two-fourths? That's the most common length of the singing here. I'm asking you to take a look on the board and see if you can give it a try. Okay, Nathaniel, tell me one. I'm telling, out of all of these, I want you to tell me which ones, which ones, you know, you can even tell me to point to which one, or if you can find it in the book, tell me what it's called. Do you know which one, Nathaniel? Tell me one. The first one. What's it called? Do you know? Can you see it in your book there? It's on page seven, I think, isn't it? What's it called? No, in English. A foot. A foot. And remember, I told you the last time that a lot of these are actually kind of drawn to look like what they're called. If you look at that, doesn't it kind of look like a leg with a foot? You yeah. see? So this is a foot. And a foot is one note, and we hold it for two-fourths. We're going to talk in terms of two-fourths, not half notes, okay? So we're holding it for two-fourths. Anybody find another one, Nicholas? The stick. The stick, okay? Now look. What, do you know what this one is? Um, uh, oh, um, a it's comma? Exa it's a comma. All I wanted you to notice is the comma and the stick look a lot alike, right? The comma looks like a comma, and the stick, if you can see somebody walking around like a, the big walking stick, that's what it looks like. Both of those have one note, and they're both two-fourths, okay? They're both two-fourths. Nina, you had your hand up. You have another, you have one that you wanted to say? I found the brightest hook. Okay, let's go with this, okay? So you're telling me the hooks, okay? And I want you to at least understand, people throughout the world who have learned this, they say, and in fact, if I asked Father Herothius, he would know, Father, when you were a child learning this, and you were learning this, they would tell you you were learning what? What did they call these? They didn't call them signs. What did they call them? Daria? Croquia. Croquia. That's they what would people would know. And you know what croquia are? The crook is the hook. Why do they call these croquia? What do you think? Because they're hooks. The hooks. Yeah, but, but why call oh. these in general crew kid? Well, there's so many of them. Because there's so many of them. So it's the, the most common. It's the most com common one you're going to find in all songs. You look through songs and you'll see these hooks all along. Okay, so Nina, you're right. Any one of these hooks, all four of these right here, are two fourths. Anybody remember from what I said the last time? Why are there four different ones? Because this is a hook, a dark hook, a bright hook, and the brightest hook. Yes, Nicholas. Oh, I was just going to say that um, they all have, they, um, they... Okay, you don't remember. No. It's all right. Nina, do you remember? Um, does each one stand for holding the note longer? For, no, they're not going to hold the notes longer, and I can understand you saying it. I want you to look, for example, I hope I put this up here. Oh, gosh, I thought I'd put this up here. Um, I, I, I did want you to see, for example, I'm going to go over here. This, we're going to talk about that later. That's called the keeper. And the keeper will hold the hook longer. But that's not what these are. They just have different notes on that. They just have different notes. This indicates, if you see this one, it ought to be the low notes of the scale. So again, if I were, if I were going to put this on, on the word Lord, I would probably have something like this note on it. Okay? If I were to have this, you might find me using this. If I were to use this, you might find this. And if I were to have this, you might find you see that? This one is for the low notes. That's for the low notes of the regular scale. That's for the high notes of the regular scale. That's for the high, the, the notes of the high scale. So they all do the same thing, though. They're all one note, and they're all two fourths. Yes, Nicholas. Oh, um, so they all, um, they don't hold it no longer. They just make it higher or lower. Exactly. 
Exactly. And again, please understand, and I really hope you guys will take the time, maybe over Thanksgiving, and read this little handout I'm going to give you. It, remember, I told you this the last time. There was a time before the 16th century when these notes weren't, they didn't give these notes. So when you looked at this, you said, well, I know it's in the low range. I know this is in the high range. So there was a reason for having those. Right now you could look at it and say, couldn't you just have one? Yeah, you could, but that's why they had them, okay? So once again, the hooks. Remember, this is a foot. Mm -hmm. This is a hook, any one of the hooks. This is a comma. This is a stick. I'd like you to know the names of the basic ones because the more you know them, the more then you're able to say, okay, I know what to do with them, okay? Now what about another one that's two-fourths? Nicholas? The pilot. Good, the pilot. And remember, Nicholas, again, I don't know, do you guys have a gas stove or electric stove? Electric. Okay, you have an electric stove. You've gone over to the community center, though, and you ever seen them when the ovens in the community center? Sometimes if you see the ovens, they're gas stoves, and there's a real fire that comes. But when I go over to Big Prosper a lot of times, unfortunately, when I go over there, the pilot's not lit. And if the pilot's not lit, then all the gas won't go on. So I have to light the pilot. And the pilot is where you normally start like a furnace. Oh, so, so you usually see that starting? You usually song? see this at the start of a song. You will watch and almost, if you watch when we're singing the Odes of the Canon this week, even in Slavonic, look at the songs and go, oh, almost every one of them starts with a pilot. Okay? So the pilot is another one that's two-fourths long. All right? And I think we've exhausted all of those that are two-fourths. Mm. So the hooks are two-fourths, the pilot's two-fourths, the comma's two-fourths, the stick is two-fourths, the foot is two-fourths. Okay? Now, I shouldn't have done this. This is what I started to do later. What I wanted to do, what I put underneath, is let's call them variations of the basics, okay? Yeah. Variations of the basics. If I take this little note like this, it almost, almost looks like a comma, or it almost looks like a little... It's not exactly a straight line. It almost goes at a 45 degree angle. What, you know what that's called, Nicholas? Cutter. It's called the cutter. And if you think about it, see, that's why I want you to know the names of it. What does it do? It cuts the length. Nathaniel, can you understand that? Mm -hmm. It cuts the length. So if I cut the length from two-fourths, what do you think I want to cut the length to? Nicholas? A fourth. One-fourth. That's right. So I'm going to cut the length to one-fourth. So if I have a cutter here, Instead of it being two-fourths, it's one-fourth. If I have a cutter on the pilot, this is a pilot with a cutter, I've cut it to one-fourth. If I have a hook with a cutter, I've cut it to one-fourth. If I have a stick or a comma with a cutter, see those? It's one-fourth. So I'm not going to sing. And, and sometimes you'll see, in fact, we didn't go far enough in those Christmas songs. I think it's the eighth ode. In the eighth ode, we have a thing, at least in the Slavonic, it was, O boya, mozhe sodje vaya sodje, mo boya, mozhe sodje vaya, da 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 da. Because they're all cutters and they all make it fast, all right? So we can take the cutter and it kind of, again, probably it's a little more like this. Well, I don't know. It's, it's, but, but that's what you do on that, all right? It's like a comma. Yeah. Now, we can also have, and you don't run into many with this, but I want you to be aware of this. I indicated this, and I probably should have put it here. We can also get into a hook, any one of the hooks, and we can put this basically horizontal line at the end of it. That's called a keeper. So a cutter cuts it shorter. What do you think a keeper does? Nicholas? It keeps it longer. It keeps it longer. So if a cutter cuts it from two-fourths to one-fourth, how long do you think a keeper might make the hook? Three-fourths. Three-fourths. That's a pretty unusual length, and I've got to tell you, when we try to sing three-fourths, Signs. I don't know about you, Dottie, but generally I have a real tough time with the three-fourths. And probably what I end up doing is making it four-fourths, you know. But in any event, so the keeper, you, and basically I think the only place you find a keeper is on the end of a hook. Okay? So the cutter, so again, here's the most common sign, the hook. Well, the hook's pretty, pretty common too. I can take that hook, and I can take a cutter and shorten it. I can take a keeper, and I can lengthen it. But they're all still one, one sign, one note, okay? It's really important because, as I've said many times before, I'm telling you that after we do three or four weeks of this, you'll know about almost half of all the signs that you see in songs and go, oh my gosh, it's really not so hard as it looks to do, okay? So we have that. All right, now, we've talked about one-fourth notes or signs, two-fourths and three-fourths. But now we've got the four-fourths, and we really need to recognize the four-fourths because we're going to really hold on those, okay? Let's start with one. If a pilot starts a song, do you have any idea what we normally find? Can you think of it? Yes, Nicholas? The cross. Good. The cross is almost always at the end of a song. 
And when you sing any song, think about it, right? When you sing a song, you normally, in the end of a song, kind of hold on to the end of it. So the cross is, you know how long it is then, Nicholas? Uh, if, it's, if it's going to be the longest, four-fourths. It can't be any longer than four-fourths, because four-fourths is a whole note. All right? So we're going to say that the cross, I'm going to do this. Instead of, the, I did the other, the, the other ones, circled the two-fourths ones in, in black. Let's circle the ones that are four-fourths in, in red. Do you know any other ones that are four-fourths, Nina? I don't, um, the stop. Good, the stop. And I want you to notice this, guys. Look at this. The stop is exactly what happens with the, the hook. We've got a hook, a dark hook, a bright hook, a brightest hook. We've got, what is this called? The somber stop? Princess. Okay, and what's this? The, what is this one called? No, a stop and then a The stop and the somber stop and then the bright stop. Oh, I, I have this wrong. The bright stop and then the brightest stop. I, I've got them flip flop. Okay, I'm sorry, flip flop those. It does exactly the same thing as those do. There's no difference in any of these except what do you think is going to happen if it's just like the hooks? Mm, oh, Nicholas? It's going to be cut or lengthened? No, no. no the note changes. The note changes depending on what the Remember? Is. Remember what happened here? I'm not talking about this. Remember this was for the low, the low range notes? Yeah. This is for the low oh. range notes. This is for the low regular. This is for the low regular. This was for the high of the regular. This is for the high of the regular. That's for the high, and that's for the high. But they're all a hold. And when you're singing again, you really got to recognize that you need to hold for four fourths. You got to really stop there. Now, next time, in fact, what I brought here was a little song for us to sing, a really little song. In fact, if you listen to Father Herotheus, it's more him than me. Well, very often in the beginning of the vigil, we go, that's really easy, and we're going to look at that the next time and try to sing a song where we're actually looking at something that's got all one tone notes, all right? Yeah. Um, now we've got one more. We've got one more in here that's four fourths, and that should be very near the end of that. Do you know what it is, Nathaniel? Simple arrow. Yes. And I want you again to kind of look at this. At least to me, I can almost see, maybe not an arrow so much, almost like a bow with a couple feathers on the end of it. That's a simple arrow. And the simple arrow is going to be held for four fourths, just like the stops are going to be held for four fourths, and the cross is going to be held for four fourths. I've always thought of that as a sad bird. That looks like a sad bird to you? Sad bird. It looks like a sad bird. Well, because I, mean, well, I put the circle around it. I'm not sure it would look like a sad bird if I didn't have a circle. I can see what you're saying. But that's because I got the circle and it looks like a head or it looks like a face. But it wouldn't look that way otherwise. Okay? These are all the one-tone signs. They're the one-note signs. In fact, we've got a few more minutes left. Let's just see in a few minutes. Let me see where I put that. I hope I didn't have to place things. I, remember where I, put it. I would like to find the trees in the all this out to do. Saying I came over here specifically for that reason. Oh, oh, here, here, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Yes. Let's let's go pass these out. Okay. Okay. This will give you an idea, and I think you'll feel good about this. Okay. Try to do this fairly quickly. Okay. Here's one that I actually forgot. There is also what you find sometimes. I forgot about this. There's one more, one more note sign that I didn't make. Oh, here it is. It's the comma with the cross. Okay. Well, if you think, how long is the comma? Can you remember how long the comma is? By regular comma, can you remember, Nathaniel? Two fourths. Okay. So the cross lengthens things, just like the keeper made the hook three fourths. It's going to make this three fourths. All right. So let's look at this. Here's what we're going to do it before we leave. Let's look at this. See, see the first line? Again, guys, if you say, why do you make us learn Slavonic? Because if you can't read those, you're going to have trouble with the other ones. You see what I've got? I've got the comma with the cross. What's the note on it? Again, it's only in red because the copy machine didn't make them red. But what's that first note? Nina? So, for the... Here's what I'm saying. Here, I want you to understand what I'm saying. So here's what we're looking at in the beginning, okay? Here's the first syllable right here. And I've got the comma with the cross. Now I'm asking you, I want you to realize, because the co copy machine didn't make it red, it should be red, but do you know what that note is? Um, a re. A re, okay, or re, or re, okay? So I'm saying that I've got re, and then I have, what's the next one? What's the next sign? Oh, Nicholas, sorry. what's the next sign? Nina, what's the next sign? No, that's no, not a comma. Oh. The second one, what's that second one? <laughs> Nina. I mean the foot. The foot, okay. And the foot's going to be at two fourths. And what note am I going to sing there? What's the dot? Nicholas? Mi. Mi. Then I'm going to have, notice, what's the next one? Anybody remember what that next one is? Nina? Bright. 
right hook, okay? And it's going to be two fours, but it's a level of fa. Okay, now here's one thing I didn't tell you. And your father asked me this in church. It was a good question. The next sign, again, I, the next note, I want you to notice, it's not in red there, but it ought to be. This sign, note right here, it's called Ravinspo in Slavonic. And what it means is equal. And it means you're going to sing that equal to the last note that was shown. What was the last note shown before that equal mark? Nicholas? Um, the uh, bright hook and the fa. Fa, okay. Fa is the note. When you ask you the note, yeah. it's just fa, fa is the note. Fa. So on Priyadzite, I'm going to sing fa again and fa again until I get to the next comma, which is mi. Do you see that? Then I have, what's that next one on Poplon Nimsa? The, the sad bird. Oh, yeah. What is it, Nicholas? Straight, straight arrow? No, well, simple, simple the simple arrow, arrow okay? And, am I, and I gotta realize, how long am I gonna hold that? Um, See, it's important. Nathaniel? 4-4. Four, four. Four, four. So I'm gonna really stop there and hold there, okay? Then I'm going back to the foot, and it's gonna be at fa again, because I have the equal mark. And now another foot at fa, another foot at fa to end that line. Second line. I've still got another foot at fa, another foot at fa, another foot at fa. Then what do I have? Mi. Mi. On the comma. Yeah. Then I've got another simple arrow, so I've got a hold there. And then I'm going to sing the last note. What's the last note on the song? Nina? Re. Re and I'm going to hold on the cross. Yeah. Okay? So, here's how you learn to sing. When I was learning as a child, this is how I learned. So, like this. I'm going to sing it first for you in the notes. Re, mi, fa, 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 mi, fa. Fa, 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 mi, fa, re. Can you see what I did? Let's do it together. Were you watching that, Nikki? Okay, let's let's do it together. Everybody, let's do it together. Re mi fa 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 mi fa 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 mi fa re. One more time, according to the notes, and then I want you to sing the words, and you're going to go, oh, that's just like what it sounds like when Father wrote this, or me if I'm serving when we sing in the altar. This is how we start the vigil. After the priest senses in the altar, the first thing that he does is he starts to sing this, okay? What this mean? Come, let us worship God our King, huh? You know that pr prayer, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's do that again by the notes. Re mi fa 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 mi fa 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 mi fa re camera might want to see this. You know what? As a matter of fact, let me do that, okay? We'll do this together one more time, okay? So at least the camera will look at me. Right, ready, Nicholas? Let's do it. Re, mi, fa, 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 mi, fa, 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 mi, fa, re. Now, let's do it by the words, okay? So I have gone, re, mi, fa, now by the words. Priyadite poklonim satsarevi nashemu bohu. If you've been in the beginning of the vigil, you've heard him sing that, right? Let's do that again, and we'll call it a day with this. Priyadite poklonim satsarevi now, what I would like all of you to do for the next time we meet, I want you to take this home, and I want you to practice singing that, but I also want you to practice the next two parts of it. Come, let us worship Christ our King and our God. And come, let us worship and fall down before the very Lord Jesus Christ our King and our God. And try to see if you can't do that, so when you come to church school the next <coughs> singing next time, you can say, I can sing that. All right? So take this with you and really try to practice that, okay? And the next time, you should take them home, but if you do take them home, please make sure you study them and you bring them back. Okay, as long as you have one. Nina, did you bring yours with you? Yes. Okay, so you brought yours. Okay, and guys, the next time, we're going to start looking at the two-note signs, okay? The ones that have more than one note. So, Nina, Nathaniel, Nicholas particularly, I want you to really make sure that you know all of these. Look from pages 7 to 12. So if I come in and give you a quiz the next time, and I say to you, for example, what is this? You can simply say, it's a? And it's how many notes? Four. How many notes? One. 
One. And how long are we going to hold it? Two fours. Four fourths, okay? Gotta know those, gotta know how to hold them, okay? Thank you, George. Okay, buddy? I feel like.